One of the first missiles hit here at a busy intersection this morning at rush hour. A number of cars were set on fire here. There was very obviously casualties at this particular location this morning. The road has already been pretty much cleared away. The damage cleared away. The pavement is being repaired at the moment. You can see the damage in this building behind me. This is a university area. This is a civilian area entirely. Damage to the windows here in this building. This is a house of teachers on the other side. All of this area is largely university, mostly science buildings. There is not a single military target here at all. Clearly, civilians were the, the victims this morning in this missile attack. The first time that the Russians have actually hit, hit the heart of Kyiv itself since the war began last February. Behind me uh, is Shevchenko Park, where there's a children's playground. Um, uh, quite a large missile attack there, a very big crater near this children's park. Again, it is not a military target. Vladimir Putin said this morning that he was aiming for communications targets, power stations, infrastructure, military targets, things like that. All of it in retaliation for an attack last week on that very important bridge going in and out of the Crimean Peninsula that Putin has now blamed on Ukraine. The president of Ukraine this morning came out into the streets and delivered a video message accusing the Russians of terrorist attacks across the country. Russia this morning uh, fired something like 75 missiles and suicide drones in cities all across Ukraine. Again, retaliation for that attack on the bridge in the Crimean Peninsula. Zelensky this morning, the president said that it was very clear that uh, Russia now wanted to attack power stations, those key infrastructure uh, targets, as a way of making the civilians of this country suffer. It may be a glimpse of what the winter here is going to be like. Paul Worth from CTV News in Kyiv.